it's difficult to say, as global temperatures gradually rise, what influence this might have on the jet streams. Some evidence indicates that they are traveling further poleward on average year on year, although this is apparently not unheard of in the planet's history. There is some more evidence that the jet streams have strengthened since 2002. If so, we should be grateful. Although unpleasant, the biting cold of the polar vortex usually is only a passing weather phenomenon. We see it return north within a month, but if the jet stream were to go, the polar vortex would come down from the north to stay, and we'd truly know what it is like to live in arctic conditions. The more I've learned about this subject, the more I've discovered that the winds of our planet are this fascinating weave of interplaying forces and effects that tug and pull on each other, finding perfect balances and yet constantly shifting in rhythms and patterns. And yet, it does so practically invisibly. So much is going on that we simply do not see down here on the ground, just because air is, well, air. And yet, I've learned its importance. The polar night jet is not just wind with a cool name. It is a bastion of protection, a wall against the frozen wind. It really makes you think of the incredible majesty of the world around us. How much is going on that protects us that we simply do not see. <laughs>